The story begins with a girl named Evelyn, who has just regained consciousness in the hospital. How did she get here? She remembers that she had a very bad accident a while ago. Two cars collided with each other in this accident, and the other family faced a huge loss. Evelyn was taking full responsibility for this. She starts getting panic attacks in the middle of the operation. Her husband comes and relaxes her, and says what happened was an accident. It wasn't your fault. The scene cuts to a scene from a year later, where Evelyn has shifted to California with her husband where her husband was about to start a wine business. In the joy of this shift, they also have a party where Evelyn meets an old lady. This lady also had a wine business in California. She congratulates her for Evelyn's baby. And she also gives a lot of prayers. All this was fine. But the strange thing was that Evelyn was pregnant. She didn't tell anyone about this. So how did she know about this? Now that old lady goes to Evelyn's house to use the washroom. For not being come back for a long time. When Evelyn goes to check her, she sees that the old lady is standing in Evelyn's room, as if someone possessed her. Her face was as if she had seen something scary. She was scared. As soon as Evelyn touches this old lady, she comes to her senses and starts scolding Evelyn. That how did you touch me? After which the old lady leaves Evelyn's house. The party was over. Evelyn goes to sleep with her husband. And at night she sees in a dream that she is covered in blood. The metal of her bed gets stuck in her eyes. And she gets scared and wakes up. All this was just her bad dream. She relaxes herself with great difficulty. And when she goes to the doctor in the morning, she also tells the doctor about this condition. And the doctor tells her to join yoga classes, where she meets a girl named Sadie. She was also three months pregnant like Evelyn. They become good friends. And now when Evelyn comes home, in the pool of her house, she sees a shadow of a person wearing a hoodie. She looks up and sees that there was no one there. The shadow was also gone in the water. And now Evelyn was seeing a dead body in the water. She gets scared and comes inside the house. It was evening. She was still worried about everything that happened in the morning. She was still thinking about these things. That she hears someone screaming outside the house. When she checks outside, she sees the same person wearing a hoodie. Whose shadow she saw in the water in the morning. She screams loudly in fear. Hearing her scream, David comes to her. She tells David to go check outside. He has come to kill us. But there was nothing outside. Actually, what she saw and heard were all Evelyn's illusions. After the accident, Evelyn was a victim of mental stress, because she felt that this accident happened because of her, and that's why she used to get all kinds of illusions. The doctor gave some medicines to Evelyn for this condition, which she was not using properly. Next day, she meets her new friend Sadie again, and tells her about her hallucinations. She tells her that this has been happening to her, since her car accident. She tells Sadie that she is very tired. These hallucinations will drive me crazy. I should take medicines. But Sadie scares her. No, you don't take those medicines. Those medicines will harm your child. Evelyn comes back home. Suddenly, a few bricks lying on the table stand up. From behind, someone starts knocking on the door loudly. Afraid of all these things, she calls David. But David had forgotten his phone at home. At the same time, he sees a revolver lying on the floor. Seeing this, she got scared. Before she could get down on the floor and pick up the revolver. Suddenly, while shooting some bullets, breaks the wine bottles behind Evelyn. Evelyn gets scared and screams very loudly. In the meantime, David had also come home. He relaxes Evelyn and shows that nothing happened here that she saw. She was still hallucinating. Her condition was so bad that she was taken to the doctor. And the doctor tells her that this is happening because she did not take her medicines on time. If she had taken her medicines on time, then nothing like this would have happened to her. Evelyn asks a question. But doctor, this can harm my child. In response, the doctor says, Evelyn, you eat this medicine without tension. There is no side effect of this. Now at night, she invited her new friend Sadie and her husband for dinner. After dinner, David takes Sadie's husband out. Evelyn tells Sadie, I had very dangerous hallucinations yesterday. And that's why I went to the doctor. The doctor told me to use the medicine again. And also said that there are no side effects of the medicine. In response, Sadie says the doctor has said wrong. So don't take medicines at all. They can be dangerous for your child. And as far as I know you, I don't think you have a mental issue. Evelyn says then why do these hallucinations come? I am very worried about them. If I leave the medicine then it gets worse. Sadie says I think your house is haunted. That means this is a ghost. And maybe that's why you get such weird illusions. Now the next day, Evelyn again, hears someone screaming outside his house. When she went to check there was no one there. She heard a voice again. Like someone shot and killed that screaming girl. This time she is not nervous of her hallucinations. In fact, she is afraid. Because she was remembering Sadie's words, that her house is haunted. And now to know the truth of this house. She goes to the agent with Sadie. 
through whom they bought this house. She says to the agent we think this house is haunted. The agent says no, this can't be. Because there was no such accident happened here. Because of which this house is haunted. But Evelé was very scared here. So the agent advises Evelé to meet the old owner of this house. After which she comes home. She was researching about the old owner of this house. When David comes to her. She tells David about everything that happened today. How she heard the voice again today. She says to David, I think this is all because of pregnancy. And David replies Evelé, this is not because of pregnancy. This is happening because, you are not taking your medicines on time. When the two come close, at this time, Evelé sees a man in a hoodie again. She gets scared, and pushing David away, she comes out of her house. She was thinking something here. Suddenly she looks back, a dummy was coming to kill her. She turns to the back to escape. She hits the glass window and goes out of the house. Hearing these voices, David comes to her, and tries to relax her. Evelé says the dummy was coming to kill me, but now the dummy was in its place. This was also her hallucination. Now David tells her you should take your medicines. Now she was also feeling more confused. So she takes her medicines after waking up in the morning. And because of taking her medicines. In a few days, she was feeling better. One day, at the coffee shop, she meets Sadie again. These two were talking. Evelyn's eyes go out, where her husband was with a girl. She was thinking that David is cheating on her. She comes home immediately, and checking David's stuff at home. She gets a file related to black magic. After a while, some letters come to her house. In this letter, the names of the books related to black magic, and the names of the ways of black magic were written. Evelé was now doubting David. That maybe what is happening, is happening because of David. David is doing something which he is hiding from her. Evelé was now feeling more scared. She calls the owner of this house, and asks him to ask about this house. And the owner of the house, asks her to get help from the old lady named Helena. Whom we had seen at the start of the movie. Now she was saying, that she sees something behind the window. She goes ahead, and some weird power breaks the window, pushed her and fell down. Evelé was now confirmed that this house is haunted. That's why she calls Helena to her house. Helena had now come to her house. She checks her house, while checking the house when people go near the pool. Then in the pool, these two are seen dead. When she comes inside the house Helena tells her, that there is some evil power in this house. That there is some evil power. Evelé was now feeling her statements right. When she wants to take a file for Helena, suddenly she hears someone scream. She comes out of the kitchen, and on the wall, she sees bloodstained hands, she comes forward. Suddenly a weird power puts a chair in front of her, and she looks in front of her. Helena was lying on the floor in a bad condition. She was having a heart attack, and she dies before dying, she told Evelé a very strange thing. She said there is nothing here. What you are thinking it's all you. Evelé was thinking, what did she mean? After that, we see that she is asking David, about the books of black magic. About these books David says, these books were given to me by my colleague. So that I can get rid of the evil power from this house. If David knew about some evil power here, then why didn't he tell Evelé first? Evelé didn't believe anything. She leaves in anger. She goes to meet the owner of this house. She wants to know the truth about this house and the vineyard. On which a man tells, that some evil powers were in that house. The one who possessed my grandmother. To get rid of these evil powers, the grandmother set that house on fire along with her. That means she died. This man shows her some sketches of his grandmother. And one of these sketches was of David, in which he was dead. She was very scared to see these things. She came home running, and she had decided that she will leave this house right now. But when she comes home, she sees that a lot of guests had come to her house. There was a doctor and a psychiatrist, who David had called for Evelé. Suddenly she hears the same scream that she had always heard. She goes to the kitchen and checks. There her friend was making coffee. When she comes out afraid, she sees that the psychiatrist is making the coins stand on the table, just like she used to see in her visions. Now she started to understand what was happening to her as Helena had told her. Whatever is happening, she herself is involved. So it meant that Evelé used to get visions for herself. Whatever was going to happen to her, she was already seeing it. Suddenly the door opens, and David opens the door, and Evelé sees that there is the same person in front of her, who used to scare her again and again, and it was none other than her friend Sadie. Sadie comes inside the house with her husband. She had the same revolver, which Evelé had seen lying on the floor in her visions. The psychiatrist tries to run away from her, so Sadie's husband shoots her from behind. The bullets hit the wine bottles instead of the psychiatrist, and the wine bottles break. And then a bullet hits the psychiatrist and she puts her blood-stained hand on the wall. This was also the same scene which Evelé had already seen. After this, they start fighting. David was trying to take the gun from them. 
And in all this, the doctor gets shot. Evelyn's friend, who tries to run away from here. Sadie's husband runs after her. Here Sadie herself went ahead to attack Evelyn. Having her in trouble, David comes to save her. But Sadie stabs David in the stomach. And kills him, before she kills Evelyn. Evelyn picks up the statue to save her. While making it her protection, she was going back and forth. And suddenly she breaks the window and falls out. Everything that was happening at this time. Evelyn had already seen it in her visions. Even this scene, outside. Sadie's husband shoots Evelyn's friend and kills her. Evelyn understands, the sound of the bullet. And the sound of screaming, she heard. It was her friends. Evelyn runs out of the house to save herself. And here she finds David's friend. Who was trying to help her. Before she could explain the situation to him. Sadie's husband shoots him from behind. And throws him in the pond. The dead body that she always saw in the pond. Was David's friends. After that, Sadie's husband puts tape on Evelyn's face. And drags her inside the house. Evelyn to save herself. Drags the chairs here and there. And we have already seen this thing. They take Evelyn and tie her to the bed. Why was Saudi doing all this? It turns out, at the beginning of the movie, the car that Evelyn had an accident with. It was Saudi's car. At that time, Sadie was pregnant. And because of Evelyn, her child died. And now she wanted to kill Evelyn's child and take revenge. She picks up a knife, and starts cutting Evelyn's stomach. Blood spreads everywhere. This was the scene whose illusion, first of all, Evelyn saw on coming to this house. Evelyn, to save her child, starts shaking her hands. Her hands were tied to the metal of the bed. By doing this, the metal of the bed breaks. Taking advantage of the situation, Evelyn attacks Saudi with the same metal. And in a second, Saudi dies here. Seeing this, her husband gets very angry. And now, he tries to kill Evelyn by strangling her. And before he kills Evelyn, wounded David comes from behind. And shoots him with his gun. After all this, David finally understood, that his wife didn't have any mental issues. There was really a power here which showed them the visions of the bad things in the future. That's why, he leaves this house after listening to Evelyn. And in the last scene of the movie, it is shown, that the agent is showing this house to a new couple. As soon as they enter this house, the coins on the table stand up. Which means the paranormal things that happened to Evelyn was going to happen to this couple as well. And telling this, the story ends here.